is Ricky Hendon. He's an uh, uh, Illinois state senator, and he's running for lieutenant governor. Now, his problem is uh, there's uh, too many people in the race, and he's got to stand out. There's uh, six different people in the race, so he's decided that he's going to make an um, unconventional radio ad. And, oh boy, <laughs> fun, man, fun. All right, here is uh, Ricky Hendon's ad. See if you can keep up with it. Somebody had to call. Hey, hey, hey. Flo, Flo. You gotta go, girl. Car I got to meet a boo. Didn't have a 46 quarters. That's why I took the bus. Free rides for seniors. <laughs> Didn't Ricky Hinton do that for the seniors? Yep. Did a lot more, too. He passed the bill to get folks out of foreclosure, and he stopped them fools from putting 10,000 more red light cameras on you drivers. Where the pretty girls up there? I'm out, I'm out. My meter's on steroids. Got to drive real slow to watch out for them dog on red light cameras. Beat the check to the bank to stop the foreclosure and borrow some money from my ex-husband to pay my property taxes. Ooh, no, that's scary. Yeah, got it in a trick bag. That's why I'm going to vote for Ricky Hendrick. The hell with the rest of them. I'm a punch 19. Ricky Hendrick for Lieutenant Governor Punch 19? Maybe I'll just stay till you cut the cake, girl. I ain't working. I can't afford no cake. But I do have a Twinkie with 19 candles on it. Uh, no, thank you. See ya. <laughs> I'll take a slice. Paid for by committed to elect Ricky Hendon. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, that's awesome. He almost, I almost want to move to Illinois to vote for the guy. <laughs> now, look. Uh, you know, he's got the standard things that uh, apparently have to be in uh, an ad trying to appeal to the uh, African-American electorate, okay? Uh, somebody's going to say, hey, girl. Okay, that's in every ad, right? <laughs> you know it, girl. <laughs> that's from another ad, okay? And then, I'm not one for those fools, <laughs> those other fools. Okay. Now, look, Ricky uh, happens to be African-American, so he can get away with it a little bit better. When the uh, Republicans were running ads like this, uh, <laughs> There's no African Americans involved in making that ad. The guy running is white. He's not going to serve the African American community at all. And he does this, and it looks ridiculous. Now, look, to me, the ad still sounds ridiculous, okay? But at least he can say, look, it's authentic. What do you mean? I, I'm, I'm black, and these, and these are how people talk at the parties I go to. What are you going to do, argue with him? <laughs> okay. It's an unconventional ad, okay? It makes him stand out. Uh, <laughs> Does it make you want to vote for him? I know I'm not voting for the other fools. <laughs> I could, and I tried so hard upon second here in that ad. I think they got it had a Twinkie cake going on in there. One of them had to feed a meter, but then the other one got the, you know, the public transit because of Ricky Hendon. Who knows? Maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work. What do you think, Jr? I'm really close to finding our original one, the Republican one. Um, you know what? No, it won't work. <laughs> too much, right? Yeah, it's too much. And also, I don't know. I think it's going to get made fun of enough. Or maybe that works. It grabs attention and it gets made fun of enough that people are like, I remember that Ricky, what was it Henderson? Hendon. Hendon. Well, Speaking he got a lot of stuff done. And a lot, not, not a lot of the other fools did. <laughs> Look, here's what we know. It's going to get talked about, right? So it puts them in the ballgame in that way. In a field of six, maybe it helps him. In a field of two, it hurts him, is my guess.